Last spot of the night. Exactly. Face face into us. I am. <laughs> He's like an uncle at a party. <laughs> hey, first of all, y'all don't know <laughs> shit about, let me tell y'all about podcasts. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be the last spot of the night right here. This is this is the real juice. This is the end of the night. How many shows did you do tonight? <laughs> that many. <laughs> is that that was a long one? <laughs> I feel a little, uh, a little exhausted. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm burnt. You know, it's funny. I didn't tell you. The first time that we met was in the village. Oh, y'all, y'all niggas getting heavy. And he I'm gonna, you're going to cry by the end of this. He didn't, no. he didn't say anything to me. I didn't mean to break the fourth wall. He, no, he, no, he, break it all. When he, when he was selling tickets and, and barking down in the village, he was literally the master at it. I'm like, yeah, that has to be the hardest way to come up though. Selling tickets in the fucking village. It was rough. That's fucking. But dude, he, I would literally, I was so impressed. You would literally walk up to some couple from Norway and after about 30 seconds, you would be like best friends with them. And they, you could literally have sold them anything you wanted. The first thing you said to me, you walked up to me, didn't say a word, pulls out a deck of cards and goes, Pick a car. Now. That's that, that's how we met. He's out there doing a magician. doing do, doing card tricks on McDougal Street. Bro, I was like, I don't know what it is, but this kid's got it. Yeah, I guess I knew the way to make the people laugh was to be a person of the people. There you go. How was how was tonight? Tonight was great. First show, anyway. Second show. Why? What happened on the <laughs> second? <laughs> what happened on the it's second? Four twenty. Wait, Dude. wait, wait, they or you? Me, duh, what the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> did you hear, did <laughs> they? Well, I wasn't sure if they were just too high to be like, I don't know what's no, going on. No, they were great, and I don't <laughs> apologize. What, the first show, which the one that we did together. That was fantastic. Dude, this guy's up, first of all, and I'm sorry we left you up there so long, they were they were still fiddling with you the checks. You didn't leave me up and there, I, I, stayed, I knew you wanted to rock out there. Was. That was some light blowing. But I go up, I have, I have a great set, get them all situated, settle in, couple comics go. This guy goes up and fucking murders. I gotta go back up and do an extra, do an extra 10 with the- Where's doing? my camera, right what there? Yeah, yeah. This one, is it this one, huh? I gotta, hey. Hey. I gotta do an extra 10 with the checks. And it's like, I go up there, I'm like, oh, well this fat guy shit's not gonna seem yeah. that fucking funny anymore. Stop. You're hilarious, both of you are. Oh, Thank stop. you, buddy. Uh, I remember doing shows in the Village Lantern with with both of y'all cats. Yeah. yeah. When it was before they did all the renovating and they mm -hmm. got all lame. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely changed a little bit for sure. It's lame. Yeah. No disrespect to y'all young. <laughs> Stop looking. But you lame. <laughs> this shit is lame. <laughs> you young kids, you know. Oh, so <laughs> lame. I hate it right now. Yeah. This uh, opinion has been brought to you by the good folks at Jonas. Yeah. You, <laughs> you really do know how to play to a camera. <laughs> He like looks away and then at the end he comes and delivers a hard message hey, as he sips. The more you know. <laughs> Rainbow goes across yeah. the screen. So no. was it a good night? It was a good night all in all. I tried out jokes in a room where I probably shouldn't have tried the jokes. That, that's, all right, so that's for, you know, where, will you try new jokes on any show? Generally, yes. Yeah. Like you However, don't care if it's like a Saturday night or like, Not you know, up front, you'll buffer them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you do, you yeah, get them on Dude, your side. Do some, do some of the tried and true business. Classics, you hit them with a little bit of the Hit them with the game. high heat, as I call it. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta give them the smoke out front. You know, Facts. get them on your side. And then you hit them with the new shit. Mm -hmm. And if they don't like it, you can save yourself. Yeah, you go yeah. back, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did one, I did, I just, last night, I, you know, the same, opened up strong with like older stuff and then, did like new stuff and it all, they were just super hot and they just kept. Each new joke was like new, new joke. Like mm, that I've told maybe once freshness. or twice. Yeah, yeah. And like they all just kept hitting. I'm like, I don't have to go back to old shit. I don't think I can just fucking. <laughs> that's keep, a great. I can just that's keep how you pushing. Know you got your fire. But mm -hmm. it was kind of like well, they were like real. It was like a really good crowd. But I was kind of like in no man's land. I had never been like, oh, I'm like now four new jokes in, and they're still fucking still hitting. On I'm board. like, yeah. 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 I, I feel know, like yeah. getting better. It, obviously, joke writing all that stuff. But I feel like getting better at comedy is being able to get out of a bad joke. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's what you're able to do when the joke doesn't work. Inherently, we all say fucked up shit, but I think what makes it endearing and what makes it mm -hmm. palatable to uh, the layman mm -hmm. yeah. is is that we can finagle our way with words and charm yeah. out of a, a shithole. Yeah. yeah. But people are losing sight of that now. Yeah. Why do you think that? Because before they remember that it's a joke and that there are they want to get upset it, about that it. it is a journey of words sure yeah they want to get pissed off 
before the journey is complete. The more and more I think about that. I'm high. It's 420. <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to remember this. They're going to put this out next Dude, month. I, it's 420. I, it's, it's, why did you do that? You had, a, you had a good, vulnerable, yeah. nice moment. Smart. I just wanted out the people to know. I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> I want y'all to know at home. That's hit all Be three careful. of them. Yeah. yeah. Listen. I, want I to am know. high. I think it's funny when anybody attacks a, a comic for, for, for like, you know, what they said or whatever. Because like, yeah. I think about it more and more all the time. Like, when I was watching, when I'm standing there watching watching you, watching Schultz, watching, you know, Chuck Nice, somebody murdering on stage. I'm thinking, like, our job, we're, we're like, how pure of a thing is it? We're trying to make people laugh and trying to make people feel feel good about themselves. It's stupid. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's really yeah. when you think about it, yeah. It, I mean, it is absolutely a crazy thing to pursue. Yeah. But, but tonight, it's also the most human thing to pursue. It really is. And tonight yeah. I had that moment sure. where I was, like, sitting there and I was, like, in awe. I'm like, what other profession is, is that pure of a thing where it's, like, all I want to do so many. is make you laugh? There's so, the arts in general. Sure. The arts, sure. of course. Uh, painters paint things to mm -hmm. make people feel shit. Dancers do dancer shit. Singers. <laughs> I think they call it dancing. Yeah. <laughs> this is hit me out of it. Like, you know, singers, they write songwriters, they write songs sure, to course. make people feel shit. That's what the most human jobs are outside of feeding people and mm -hmm. saving people. Medicine. Yeah. 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 All that No, shit. for sure. You, you want to exist to make people feel shit. Yeah. And, and I think like it, on like you know on a you know on a douchey level like once you and it, I that kind of hit me like a year or two ago of like oh I'm doing this and in a corny way you know you're like whatever uh, making people's day better or whatever you're doing this thing that is bringing joy to people and it's like oh that is worth you know like a, like and there's that line like a life lived for art is not a life wasted true. so it's like I will say this though it's a hard motherfucking life everyone though. that does this has to come to terms at some point with the fact that they're doing it for themselves. Sure. This is a very selfish. Oh, it's 100% selfish. I, th I think it is and it isn't. I think a lot of people. I'm not here for these fucking people. I'm here for day, me. If they laugh, that's cool. I got to go to the next, next show. Yeah, sure. And this is all for me right now. Yes, of course, of course. The, them, uh, the audience laughing and receiving joy is a byproduct of me. Uh, me. Wonderful byproduct. It's a good byproduct for them, but it's ultimately it's a byproduct of me getting what I want. Yeah. yeah. But you guys. That's business you, stuff. But you guys don't get sure. off. Like, I, I get off on the business. fact, like, if, if I'm having a rough week, if, like, you know, auditions or whatever, th things aren't going your way, and, and you're in the middle of the week, and shows during the week aren't the same as the weekend shows, but then I sometimes will, like, look back and be, like, and feel good about the fact that, like, 300 some people or you know 500 people came through to, to, to the club that weekend and we literally had a blast like you ever have you ever have somebody come up to you after the show we, you know we were having a terrible week this happened that happened we just came to new york Absolutely. we wanted to see yeah. the show and That's and they'll fucking remember that shit worth forever doing. yeah yeah i sometimes have the thought of like because i went and saw comedy when i was like 18 19 20 20 even way before i started comedy and like mm -hmm. i remember those comedians and i'm like I could pick those guys off of a street right now. Who were the first three you ever saw? Uh, it was, the first three I ever saw was Brian Regan. Okay, Brian's uh, a fucking beast. Fucking monster. Like, yeah. laughed so, so, so hard. Um, and the other was a fundraiser. It was actually Richie Redding. <laughs> the fucking comedian Richie friend. is one of my best friends. Dude, Rich he I just murdered. had empanadas with Richie today. <laughs> Dude, he murdered so hard at this, and it was a hell gig. Looking back, I've now went, I've done that gig a thousand times over in my Richie life. He a hell the gig fundraiser. Smash. He murdered fundraiser, and he murdered. Um, and I can't Number think. Of, I can't think of the third one. The timeline's getting fuzzy. Um, I honestly, I never went to I a comedy remember. show or saw comedy live until the first time I walked into the Laugh House at 32 years old. Get the fuck out of I swear, I never that's, went to a comedy show. You never show. saw Eddie. And you were just like, I want to do it? That's well, serial I mean, Yeah, show. I mean, I watched Delirious when so I was you, a kid, watched Cosby and all that stuff. I watched it on okay, TV, so you but I never had been, I never had walked into a comedy club until I walked into the Laugh House for the first time. So okay. the, first, the first person that I saw murder, where I was like, holy shit, was Two Ray Gordon. Two Ray is a fucking, Two Ray. Call me, man. <laughs> hey, to, we, remember when we was at that taco spot around the corner? Tacos, that, empanadas, what no, is it with you? Yeah, Jesus. I like Latin food. <laughs> Too right, we was at the, uh, the taco spot around the corner from the Laugh Lounge 
Okay. And you introduced me to goofy ass Chill Rail. What's the what's the Chill Rail? Chill Rail. He's doing good. Chill is killing shit. Yeah. But two, I feel like I DM'd you and you ain't hit me back. So I'm gonna retry <laughs> after this. He's gonna send you this clip. Yep. <laughs> this is my hey two, let's talk, man. Yeah. The first time I ever saw it in succession, like on a show. Two Ray used to host. stay with the Heineken oh, and the fucking God. swaggy ass delivery. Dude, he'll say something. He was cool he, as shit. He'll His say laugh. something so deep and like get the whole place dead quiet. Not even like building tension. Just he'll say something Ray. like a prophet, something so poignant, and then just pop and he'll it. Bring that, he'll bring it to like Woo! silence and they're on the edge of the seat and then just throws a hand grenade of laughter. Night. Facts. Yeah. I think this cat's that are, that. Uh, I put two Ray in a category as a, a, a Greer Barnes, where they 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 conduct the crowd, they oh, conduct sure. the laughter. Two will look at the audience. It's yeah, they have and them. take them on that journey and be like, oh, y'all going fucking high? Y'all, it's gonna be here when I wanted to be there. Mm-hmm. Right, he's a master. Yeah, no, it's absolutely. I remember it was like I remember sitting in the back and when we were just still in Philly, sitting in the back of the club with you. I mm-hmm. fucking love you too, Ray. And it was like. Fuck it. That was the first person I saw. Like, mur- I was just Toure. like, this is banana. Yeah, yeah. When you kill in a black club, that is a fucking. Oh, there is that's nothing something else. better than ah, hearing that. Ah, I don't know. I Listen, don't know. Because no, I, I hear, all too often, I hear white comedians tell me that the black club kill is is better. Well, that's all I know. I came up with it. I came up in the Laugh House. Okay. Yeah. But funny, at the end of the day, is funny. Black sure. people will laugh at the same shit. The white people will laugh at is that white people, I think, are more forgiving of the flubbing. There's nothing yeah. better than watching somebody bomb in a black comedy club. I'll tell you that. Oh. that dude, you, no, but, no, you I sometimes agree with you. see the crowd laughing more. I agree with that you. That is the best. No, the funny is the funny is funny. Yeah. If it's not funny, it's not going to work. I'm not saying of that. Course. I'm not the quality of it isn't. I'm saying the the, it, the emotive the the laugh. I was trying to it's see an if your heart laugh. was in it for the right reason. It, no, no, it's an earned laugh. It's I, a harder earned laugh, and it's a bigger, more fulfilling laugh. It, yes, because white people go to comedy clubs to appreciate. Mm-hmm. They go, mm-hmm. yes. oh, you made me laugh. Thank you. Yes. Wonderful evening. I had a great time. They all Black people accents. go to comedy. Yes, all, the, all y'all niggas. <laughs> Hello. Black people go to comedy Jolly good shows <laughs> to die. Yeah. Yeah. Kill me with your jokes, motherfucker. Yeah. White people, oh, we had a good a good laugh. Let's go get coffee. Where are the kids? Yeah. I saw, the first time that I ever saw in Succession is, uh, so I was probably three years in. Chris Cotton, good friend of ours, was, was probably five years in, and he he had just started hosting at the Laugh House. So here was the lineup, and I had never seen these two other guys before in my life. Didn't know what was going on. Packed, Saturday night, 9 o'clock show. Just I've done a couple there where I left smelling like chicken oh, fingers. Dude, 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 dude taste that, something. Those wings, I, forget I, it. I told you about that shit. I smell like chicken fingers for, when I left For days. Mother. For days, dude. It was in your I clothes. Buy, it was in I your hair. laundry immediately. <laughs> you would leave. I would leave the laugh house and go to, uh, where was the spot that Cotton was hosting? The Raven. The Raven. I was yeah. just a, and people would just be like, you were at the laugh house. Fact, yeah. <laughs> dude, that, that's what they would say. Me, Cotton. You're at the laugh house? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Dude, that's we walked crazy. in one night. We walked in. We left. We left the. We left the laugh house. Went to the Raven. And we walked into the bartender. We walked. Oh, it was Karen, the bartender. She's been there Dogs forever. are chasing you down dude, the street. <laughs> we walk out to the bar. She goes, "You guys are just at the laugh house." We're like, "Ah, oh, fuck." We were like, "Dude, you just." It's. It was in you. It was I great, but the wings were so fucking good. But I Cotton, would say that is the way I prefer to smell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to because there used wings? to be kids like you. Everybody knew a kid in school. Of course, that was stinky. I wasn't my a co-host. stinky kid. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. I wasn't a stinky I kid. I know a guy that still is, Richard. Oh dear. I, I had lice once or twice. I'll tell you that. Did oh. you really? Yeah. How? I mean, I don't know. That means your hair. You was... never had lice. You never had lice as a little kid. Black people. Black guys don't get lice. Is that true? Yes. White people get lice. That was a plague in the Bible for y'all. Really? Really? Yes. Black people don't get lice. Is that no, true? We fact check that. Yeah, no, no, that's a hundred percent. That's like a white. That was the white first thing. of oh. the plagues. Really? really? Yes. Lice? No, it wasn't. It the was God frogs, said, somebody hey, else. hey, look what at the, these. That's not a plague. That's just like an <laughs> irritation. Yeah. That's yeah. not a plague. Yes, that was God that's saying. That's like an itchy, like, what that, are you going to do about this? Fuck it. Let's keep going. That's not a plague. Biblically, no. that was God saying, all right, I'm going to take it easy on it. Yeah. Hey, sprinkle the lice. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it ramped up to Hit the flood. born child dying. <laughs> Yeah, because God was it's like, a big oh. jump. God's like, everybody's a comedian. <laughs> you want to joke about the lice? Fuck your kids. <laughs>